Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the 50 watt portable and I should say ultra portable solar panel from Bouge RV. So let's go and open it up see what we got. All right so when you open up the box you get looks like a small user manual and let's see the solar panel looks like we get three carabiners and then also the uh, a set of cords. All right, and I found the fourth carabiner. Now, a little bit about the wiring. It is a 5521, and then it splits to either a, another 5521 or uh, an eight millimeter, which is a 7909 plug. So that's kind of nice. These two plugs are very common throughout the uh, portable solar uh, power station community, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, what would have been nice is a third one, like an XT60 connector. That would have been nice, but this right here can help you with a lot of applications. A little bit about, a little bit about the solar panel. It only weighs like 1.7 pounds, so it is very light. That is 0.8 kilograms. Um, if you're looking at the dimensions, if you look at it folded up, it is 10 inches across this way. It is 14.41 inches, and the depth is 1.2 inches so it's pretty thin folded up and then if you open it up all the way which as you can see it's actually four panels uh, that makes it so it is uh, 34.8 inches long and then it's again it's 14.41 inches tall and it reduces the thickness to 0.79 inches so extremely thin all right, and here, here is your, your little power station that is connected to the solar panel. The DC is where you plug in your 5521 to your, uh, well, for me, it's going to be my Bouge RV Juice Go right here. Uh, then there's also a Type C uh, USB connector and a USB fast charge, and they're both 18 watts max. Okay, the first thing I notice about this solar panel is since it is 50 watts and it's ultra portable, it does not have any legs. See, this isn't made to sit on the ground and, and point at like a 45 degree angle. Uh, you would either have to set it just flat down or you might be able to hang it uh, from something like a tree limb or something like that. So I'm gonna try both of them to see what kind of uh, power we can get out of this. It is 11.45 a.m. on a beautiful, no cloud, sunny day. So we should be able to get plenty of power out of this 50 watt panel. And it says that it is, it's kind of designed for the Juice Go uh, by Bouge RV. This again is another small, very portable. So these together, you have portable power that can be powered by the sun. So I really like that. All right, and all we're gonna do is connect up the DC port and we're just gonna plug it into the Bouge RV Juice Go. All right, and it's already starting to charge up. Let me show you what we got. All right, and there's our panel. It's just laying flat on the grass. And our Bouge RV, I don't know if you can see that, but we are getting, it looks like 30 watts of input from this 50 watt panel just sitting on the ground. So it's not angled, it's not angled at all really. I mean, you could try to angle it by maybe setting up the Bouge RV juice go like this, and then maybe angling it like that. Let's see if we get anything better from that. And we're still only getting like 30, up 31, 33. So it's crawling up, 35. But you can see that the panels, um, they, don't, they don't lay flat across. You know, there's a hump because of the, the power station is just right in the middle. And we've gotten all the way up to 39, yeah, 39 watts now. So we gained 10 watts by just angling it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang it from like a branch of this tree and see if we can get what we can get from that. All right, and this is where the carabiners come in handy. There we go. I mean, that was super easy. Just connect those carabiners and then just loop it around a couple of branches. <laughs> but with this setup, we're only getting 15 watts. So let's go ahead and angle it up a little bit. I'm gonna try to see how much I can actually get. Yeah, still on like 27 watts. Yeah, and even with setting it kind of like this where it's halfway on the ground and halfway into the trees, I'm only still getting 27 watts from it. So it seems like the lack of legs does kind of hurt it a little bit when it comes to positioning of the actual solar panels. But where this would be good is on the outside of a tent. 
since most tents kind of uh, incline, I could see if you pointed your tent in the right direction, knowing you're going to be hanging this from it, you would get that optimal, uh, that optimal power that you want. All right, and I've gone ahead and set this thing up pretty much to the optimal angle to the sun, just to try to see how much we could possibly get out of it on a beautiful sunny day. Look at that, that's amazing. And it looks like we are looking at right around 38 watts. And at one point I did see 40, but the panels themselves are probably starting to warm up. So, so that's kind of where we're getting some loss. All right, and, and then when you're all done, I mean, it's as easy as unplugging it, taking these carabiners off, folding it back up, snapping it closed, grab your juice go, and just like that, look how small this is. I can easily, I can easily carry this power source anywhere with no problem. I mean, it's, it's pretty much just like carrying around like a, a computer bag or a briefcase, not heavy at all. So very, very portable. And I guess I should tell you one last thing. Uh, the DC output is again, 50 watts, and that makes it uh, 16 volts at 3.1 amps. All right, so I'll have a link to this in my description if you want to look further into it, uh, along with my review video of uh, the Bujar V Juusco. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this solar panel. And again, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.